Hi, how's it going there YouTube? This is your host VLD coming back from another video and today I want to take a look at a product I already reviewed. This is a magnetic iPad mini case in which I reviewed a few months ago, which this was my primary case that I use, but after using it for a while, I realized it's not really that great. It's slick, it's minimalistic, but it's not that great. I always wanted a case like this for my past iPads in the past, in which it looks more like an old fashioned notebook, but I've never really had the option to get it. And I said, screw it. So I actually bought it itself. I like it. I'm a fan of it. There are a couple of grabs about it. I do like the rubber feel to it. It's hard plastic and it looks like an old fashioned notebook you use just for writing. And that's a theme I want to use for my iPad mini on the sides is hard plastic. It has your typical cutouts. It is a little bit thicker than my other one, but that's not bad of a trade off. You do have two different positions and what you can angle it from, which I'm a fan of that compared to the one that just folds in triangle, like the Apple specific ones, which I'm not a fan of. On the top, you have your typical cuts for your volume or your lock button. And when it's closed, it is hard plastic. And when you do open it itself, it will make your iPad fit pretty nice and snug in it, and it will not be falling out. My only gripe is, I wish it was magnetic, but this one just holds it in the, the frame with plastic, which it's not the greatest, it's not the worst, but I like it because you actually have the ability to wake and put it to sleep. I like the other one I had, which it didn't have, which was kind of a deal breaker for me, but it's pretty strong. The hard plastic feels nice in the hands, and I just like the ability to wake and sleep with it. You also have a cutout for your Apple Pencil too, which will fit nice and snug in it also. And on the back side of it, you have a little open window in which you can just pop it right out. So it makes the experience a little bit more convenient to it also. So that's also a nice plus. And it will also charge it at the same time and then connect your Apple Pencil to it also, which the other one I had didn't actually have that. It was blank, which I didn't really mind too much. And I also have with this, it's a Lago sleeve for your Apple Pencil 2. They have ones for your Apple Pencil ones also, but I prefer this one. You have multiple colors. I prefer the yellowish macaroni orange just because it looks like a number two pencil, which is kind of going with the theme of that, if you haven't noticed. It's just like a rubber sleeve on it that goes with the style of the iPad itself with the case because it looks like an old fashioned notebook. So why not turn your Apple pencil into an old fashioned pencil? Also, it just slides right in. It's a little bit tough to get in at first, but it's fine. You have your cutouts for your magnets and also your gesture. Also, the top of it is like a rubber tip. So it completes a look, a feel of having your notebook and pencil with you whenever you're in class. And it adds a little bit of thickness to it. It doesn't affect the charging or connectivity when you connect it to any of the newer iPads. When it is connected to any of the iPads, it just sits on top via the magnets and it will charge and then connect to it also. And with it being a little bit thicker, I know the Apple Pencil 2 is a little bit more slim and can be a little bit glossy or loose to hold. With this, it, you have a little bit more of a gripping power to it. And you also have the ability to change also between pen and eraser also at the same time, which I'm actually glad that they accounted for that because it'd be bad if you actually did not have that feature, but I'm glad they actually accounted for it. I actually like the feel of it just for the simple fact that it's thicker. You have more of a rubber feel to it and that's, it's not so glossy. So I like it. I like the sleeve on it. I like the look. The only downside with this case is because of the holster for the Apple pencil, it will not fit. And because of the cutout for it, the case will not close with the pencil with the sleeve on, so I need to find a workaround with it. So that's the only grab about this case is with the sleeve, it will not work with the Apple pencil. So I'm guess I'm kind of out of luck, but this is America. So there's always options to fix anything and everything you can with tools.
after everything that is said and done, the pencil with the sleeve on now will actually fit on my iPad, which with the style of the case, I'm a big fan of because I have the traditional looking notebook and pen. And if anyone looks at me in a coffee shop or in class, they'd have to do a double take to actually make sure it's an actual tablet and not just a notebook. So therefore, it's all wakes and sleep. It holds a pen with the sleeve on it, and it will still charge every which way. So I consider this a win in my book. I'm your host, VLD, signing out.